Bubba Wallace, Michael Jordan, 2311 racing. It will be one of the biggest stories in 2021 for NASCAR. This video is all about the real expectations for a new team and how Bubba handles the stress both on and off the racetrack. What's up everyone, I'm Alan Kavana. Thanks for joining me on here as the preseason media tour continues to roll along. Make sure you hit that subscribe button because I hope to bring you more of these videos as we look toward and get even closer to the Daytona 500. Today was all about Bubba Wallace. Here's the truth about Bubba. In terms of notoriety, he may be the most popular driver in NASCAR. Here's what I mean. Think outside the racing bubble. Ask your grandma or your uncle that doesn't watch NASCAR. They know the name Bubba Wallace. They certainly know the name Michael Jordan. That's why this is such a big deal. Now, of course, something that big brings pressure. The pressure to perform on the racetrack, but also the pressure to deal with all of it off the racetrack. Today, I asked Bubba, which of those is the bigger challenge? On the racetrack, for sure. It's just delivering results. Um, you know, this for me is the, the one and, and potentially last opportunity um, for me. Um, you know, we have... We have a solid foundation um, um, underneath us to, uh, to make this program better and to grow this team uh, and, and make this a household name uh, in the sport and make it a pinnacle name of our sport. Um, and so I think the on-track stuff, you just got to go out and execute and not get lazy and not get sidetracked, not get too frustrated. So when it comes to expectations, what's fair? Bubba made some headlines last week when he did an interview and said he texted himself a personal goal of two wins in 2021. Again, he stressed it's a personal goal. Every driver wants to win every race. As far as the team, the realistic goal, he says, is just to make improvement throughout the year. You know, we're going to have some races where we where we shine. And then it's going to be like, yeah, we fall off. But we have to be able to bounce back from that fall off. Uh, we have to show that, you know, we can face adversity and perseverance and, and show progress throughout the whole year. And look, there was plenty of talk in today's question and answer session about 2020, everything that went on in the world, everything that went on with Bubba. He says it's actually his goal to stay out of the headlines each year. That's going to be tough to do this season. But what he stressed was that this year is all about opportunity. I'm incredibly grateful for the opportunity. I don't know if I've said that enough, um, but this, is, uh, this has been what I've been wanting for, for so long uh, to go out and try to prove a point. Um, that, you know, hey, I belong and we're going to go out and compete, contend. Uh, everything's in front of me right here. That's uh, just not easy to grab, but it's, it's, it's doable. So we just try to go out and do it. So what do you think? What is fair to ask of a driver in a new situation for a brand new team? Let me know down in the comments where you expect 2311 Racing to finish this season. Are they a playoff team? Will they get those wins? Only time will tell. We only have a few more days until the Daytona 500. Make sure you hit subscribe. We'll have more of these videos coming up. Thanks for watching.